People in the Fairfax district have taken an unusual step in trying to save a beloved neighborhood apartment building. They're having it declared a historical cultural monument. They hope that distinction will save the building from the wrecking ball. Phil Schumann has the story. You can't keep doing this. Stop demolishing this building! Protesters trying to save these 1920s rent-controlled bungalows near LA's Fairfax district have won a temporary victory. Demolition was halted while the city decides whether to grant historic designation to the buildings. We're really upset about it. It's not fair. It's not right. Something needs to be done. Uh, Deanne Newkirk, one of many trying to save this property before the final order to stop came down, things got a little confusing. They issued the order to stop work at 9.55. Okay. At 11.07 it was rescinded. Police had apparently been called because of moments like this. Mr. Jacobs and Mr. Panini, you are liable for any damage you do. I guess they're, they're saying that you guys are officially harassing the employees. But Stephen Luftman calls it fighting for tenants' rights. There were affordable apartments, and the, the, the man who's the principal in the company that is demolishing it is the chair of the California Housing Finance Agency, an agency set up to increase affordable housing. That man is Matthew Jacobs, here in the print shirt. He didn't want to talk in person or on the phone, saying, I'm not going to speak on the record. There's nothing confusing about it. Do your research with the city. Luftman and Jacobs have clashed before. In June, we told you about Luftman fighting the conversion of his apartments into luxury condos. Well. These buildings have received historic status. This whole situation is blowing up all over the city as far as people being evicted and rent-controlled housing being destroyed. As for these bungalows, even though the city has temporarily stopped demolition pending historical status, it's too late for the tenants. They're long gone, trying to find someplace affordable to live in Los Angeles. Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.